There you go. Yeah? Yeah, leave it alone. Yeah. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Bill, and today I'm gonna try something a little different on the channel. We've been doing a lot of music. I know that there's a show out there that I know nothing about that centers around music, I guess. A couple people have thrown in the suggestions. My sisters are begging me to watch this. I'm gonna be trying to stand the music of Steven Universe, created by Rebecca Sugar. That's all I know is it's a cartoon on Cartoon Network, judging by the ads. But yeah, I just wanna try something new. We're all about trying new things here. I don't know anything about this show. Show, so we're just gonna do this. We are the Crystal Gems music video extended intro. So I guess this is the intro, but extended slightly. Hmm. Yes. How's that ukulele treating you? Oh, this is really extended, huh? Cause we're good and evil never beats us. We'll win the fight and then go out for pizzas. Eh? Believe in. Ah! <laughs> we will protect your earth and we will protect you. What? Are they aliens? I have questions. That everybody wants me to be when I'm grown. Yeah, it's it's Cartoon Avengers. He's got a shield. Believe in Garnet, Amethyst, and Pearl, and Steven! Huh, that just gave me a lot of questions. Should I have watched the show? I mean, it works the way you want an intro, too. Like, it, it introduces the characters in the situation. I got the elevator pitch. I loved the beginning, though, when he was just, like, playing for everybody and, like, encouragement, then his eyes lit up. That was really sweet. I don't know why he has Captain Planet's belly button. I guess that's a thing. They fight evil by moonlight, winning love by daylight. I love the character design and the colors. They're definitely a team, and I liked hearing them kind of come together right now over me. I enjoyed it. I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm here. Here I am. Rock you like a hurricane. More music puns. Let's go to a song. Love Like You lyrics. Oh, <laughs> Love Like You. <laughs> the lyrics for Love Like You. I I don't know, maybe the song was about songs. I don't know what this show's about. It could have been. All right, that's the show I want to animate. Children's cartoon where it's about the power of music. Don't judge me. Ooh, mm. I get a brunch to this. I could even learn how to love. Ooh, oh, this is really sweet. A little sad though. Like it's separated love, not happiness right now, summer love. I might be bad now, I'm sure that it's true. Yep, there you go. I wish that I knew. Ooh, hello. How to love like you. This feels like a show tune. So obviously these people aren't together. Someone's just not prepared for a relationship or whatever type of relationship we're gunning for here. Like a lullaby almost, like a very sweet kind of farewell with a promise to return when they're ready. It, it felt so sad, but it was so sweet. And whoever's singing that, it's lovely. Can I see who did that? Do they? No, okay, don't don't tell me who sang it, that's fine. Carrie, but it had so much like pain in it. It didn't feel like romantic love, like a mother or a sister or a family member. I don't know, that's just me. I really like that. Next we have, it's over, isn't it? Should this have been the last song? <laughs> Everyone's dressed really nice. I was fine with the men who would come into her life now and again. Ooh, hello. They didn't really matter until you. Ooh. And we fought like it was all some silly game. Are all the songs this sad and jazzy? This is so painful. Isn't it over? Wow. She loved you and she's gone. So someone died? Why can't I move? Oh, her son! I nailed it! Oh my god! I mean, this is sad. And she chose you. And Ooh, high note. And she's gone. Ooh. How progressive is this show? Because I that kept going back and forth for me between romance and jealousy, but then also just looking up and admiring somebody. Clearly someone's dead. Is someone dead? Is this like a Harry Potter thing? Like just alone from the, the dancing and just how like easily while you're standing up on a fence, cartoon or otherwise, like they could have like had the joke of falling over or something, but it was someone who is so talented at these things, like feeling so lonely or isolated, but it, it definitely just felt like lost just in general. Is someone dead? That hurt. And the animation was so good. Just having that pan around shot and they could have set the stage, play it again, Sam, kind of a vibe. Like it, they just let you kind of go there for yourself. 
thank you for thinking that the the kids or the people who watch this show are smarter than that. Like you don't have to illustrate so much for it to be so impactful. They treat you, the audience, with a lot of intelligence and respect. They could have easily overplayed this and they didn't. It was just enough. What's on her forehead? Not that I'm judging. Why do they all have stones? I guess that's that's their names. Their names are all stones. They're gemstones. That's why they're called the gemstones. What a great name. If you're all named after stones and you have stones on your body, that's such a great band name. Nice. Someone's Gone was shown a more connection to this person. It just really hurt. And the song is just lovely. Like, can we, is there something upbeat in here? Cause this, these are sad and rain clouds and someone's died or gemstones. Crystals, gemstones, what do they call them? Sugar. Someone's name is Sugar. Tell me that there's something happy though. Is this just a sad show for kids with, with pastel colors? That's some Pixar sh right there. Bravo. I really like the song. Still has that musical theater quality. Like it was to the ether. She wasn't explaining it to anybody. Like, yeah, I guess Steven Universe overheard it. I'm assuming that's his last name. He said flat out, I'm Steven, so. Mr. Universe. But it, it had that grandiose, like, to the ether, like, soliloquy to it. That's insane. Is this a musical just throughout? I don't know. I don't know. I have questions. Here comes a thought is the name of our next song. Here comes a thought. Let's just do this. I can't think of anything fun. These songs are making me sad. Take a moment to think of just Ooh. Flexibility, love, and trust. Um. Here comes a thought. Don't do this to me. What someone say and how it harmed you. Teach kids about hurtful words. Please don't do this to me. Yeah, ah! Oh. Take a moment to remind yourself to take a moment to find yourself. Oh! Yes! Oh my god. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. I'm, I'm trying, I know, I know. Things that I said are suddenly swarming. Oh my god. Is that a combination of both of them? What? Oh my god, what happened? Ah! Oh no! Also, yes, harmonies look like a combo of Stephen and that girl with the overalls. Who is that? But it's not, but it's not, but it's not, but it's not. Woo! It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Oh my god. Oh me, literally me. I'm here, I'm here. And it was just a Okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Oh, dang it. Try. Oh my god. For full episodes of your favorite shh, shows. Shh, shh, Cartoon Network, shut up! That was so beautiful! What an amazing way to tackle such an intense emotion for like people to go through, especially when you're younger and like things are always at such a high. I think she got startled and flipped someone over. It scared them, she didn't mean to, and now she feels bad about it. And it's like, well, it's okay to feel bad about it, but like take a minute to check in with yourself and like know that it's gonna be okay. And I loved the butterflies, like just how it like festered up and built and it was swarming around and then it was just suddenly one really big one. Like it was such a beautiful interpretation and metaphor for emotions and being overwhelmed. Reminding people to like take a minute to check in, calm down, breathe, like go make it right, apologize, trust that someone will hear you out. That was such a beautiful way to illustrate that you're gonna feel bad and like regret and remorse are really intense things and you'll start playing it over in your head and it'll start getting bigger and bigger than it really is and you'll start being upset with yourself and it'll start to turn possibly into something self-deprecating or self destructive or damaging, do the right thing and trust that other people will respond to that. Like it's okay to make mistakes as long as you own up to it, ask for forgiveness, but then also like forgiving yourself is a big thing too. Jesus. Oh God. Well damn. Should I be swearing so much? This is about kid stuff. The harmonies too, like they were just, oh their voices blended so well and it was right at the perfect time in the song where it's like you feel like they're understanding and they're going to learn this lesson and move forward and progress as a person. Like it's written so beautifully that understanding and that harmony of the lesson and the betterment of the person hearing it and the satisfaction of the person handing that information off. Like a gentle way of talking about emotions. It reminded me of Mr. Rogers. Gentle, soft, but talking about so much, but illustrating it in a way that it, it could be delivered to any age. And then Cartoon Network had to come in at the end and, hey, you like this? We can't slime you, that's someone else's 
we, they trademarked that. And I liked the name of it too. Here comes a thought. Like it wasn't like, you're wrong, or this is the right and only way to handle emotions or handle situations. It was just a suggestion, the whole thing. On oh, this one looks sad too. <laughs> oh no. Let's only think about love, parentheses, song. Not to be confused with the play or the hit HBO melodrama. Mom made an army and she fought herself. Oh my god. That is a little bit upsetting. Yeah. I'd rather think about a wedding. Oh, someone's getting married? Let's think about dressing up and dancing around for hours. Ah! We could think about lies. Ah, uh, this is connected to the other sad song. How can we move on? Oh, we could think about hope. Hope? <gasps> oh! Change. We could think about wonderful promises we have the power to make. Holy crap. Maybe I shouldn't have picked up roses. Might be a little controversial. Oh, I get it, because someone's name is Rose. Sooner or later, the diamonds are going to come for the cluster. We're all gonna die. Oh, it's a whole thing. We could think about the broken gems in the cluster at the planet's core. Wait, what? Uh, 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 oh, God. Am I that annoying when I ask you to subscribe to my channel? Oh, my God. Subscribe. Ring the bell for more. Like the video. I, oh my god, I needed that. I think a lot of people need a song like that. I don't know what's going on as far as this birthstone infinity war thing going on in space and like something's happening to the planet. That just really hit on, there's a lot of bad stuff going on, a lot of things to worry about, global warming, war, even day-to-day -day things in your personal life or how people are feeling or what other people are going through, but like there's nothing wrong with taking a minute to focus on the positives. Holy crap, I... Oh, I really needed that. Why am I crying so much? But like it kept going through the through line, picking it back up, but it wasn't an overwhelming like, let's think about love. It was thoughtful. It felt very respectful to the negatives going on too. It wasn't overwhelming little things like handing off a single flower little bits of kindness to let yourself be excused from the table and go think about something positive for a minute, taking a break from everything. That was just lovely and wholesome and happy, but it also made me really sad. And just the image at the beginning of him shaving his clean shaven face, but like by himself, something's going on and having to kind of grow up a little fast. It was such a harrowing opening image. I'm getting snot on my nose ring. There's a impending doom, a big bad. I'm gonna stick to a Avengers comparisons, Thanos is coming, and that, ooh, when his eyes turn into stars and he's like, hope, I'm like, ooh, god, that, even just thinking about it's making me emotional. And also just a reminder to you, the audience, there's nothing wrong with taking a minute to focus on something positive or giving yourself a distraction. Like, that's, that's what I want to give everybody. There's going to be times where the music I listen to, yes, is heavy and is hitting on important stuff, and I'm going to address that to the best of my abilities, but there's also times like this where I just want to entertain and distract and make everyone smile and laugh or, I don't know, encourage them to try something new so they can add another escape or fun thing to their day, and I just really connected with that. Ah, oh, crud. We're trying not to swear, but oh, I really loved that. It felt so thoughtful, like it was so selfless. Like, yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. Breathe, take a minute, like let's focus on something positive. Please, something happy. Oh, please, something happy. Um, why is there a pair of giant purple legs? That's fine, that's fine. And everyone's camping in front of an ice cream truck. All right, so next we have Battle of Heart and Mind. Change your mind. So the song is Change Your Mind, and this is from the Battle of Heart and Mind. I'll figure it out. I'm sorry, is the pumpkin a dog? I love that. Anyway. Room for three more? Always. Okay. I don't need you to respect me, I respect me. Oh god, yes. I don't need you to love me, I love me. Yes! If you change your mind. Woo! Steven! Oh my god. Change your mind. Yes! Holy crap! That was it? Oh my god! More! Where's the rest of that song? Uh, Steven! Awareness and loving of self, declaration of self-worth all at once. That was so many things in like four sentences and five beautiful riffs. I don't even know what to say there. That was just beautiful and it just felt like because it's a young, a young boy like singing that kind of stuff, it just gave me this feeling of like someone coming into their own and learning this about themselves. Like entering this next stage of life and emotional understanding. Like you don't have to love me, I love myself. You don't have to like me, I like myself. But you can 
can always get to know me. I really liked that. It feels like a whisper of something to come, the beginning of his growth or the next phase of his growth. I don't know how far into the show this is. But it, it gave this like want to see that thought through. Like it just it felt like just a little spark of change, of understanding. All right, and to finish off the night, we have Stronger Than You. Please be an uplifting song. Please be an uplifting song. Anyway. Go ahead and try to hit me if you're able. Can't you see that my relationship is stable? Oh! But I think you're just mad because you're single. Ah! Turn us around. <laughs> What's happening to your face? Okay, Dragon Ball Z. I am the fury, I am the patience, I am the conversation. Yes! Quiet! This ship is going down! Yeah, it's apparently a giant hand in space. That was what I needed, but that wasn't what I was expecting at all. I was waiting for like a bunch of high, rocky, screlty, like let's do this power of all, power of me, power of friendship and love. But there was something about being so calm while standing up for yourself, saving the day, saving your friends, defeating an enemy. There was something about it mixed with the lyrics, acceptance, cold stamina of just knowing that you've already won. I loved that. I'm in a stable and happy relationship. Hear what my friends have to say about me. It's all true. The, the good life you have and the positive impact that you have on others, like, yeah, and it's all true. Clearly that was something climactic as far as the storyline goes. Got a little hint of Fooly Cooly in there, I'm not gonna lie, with the giant master hand crashing down to earth. I saw it, I clocked that. But there was something about it that was just so powerful. That soft, like, I don't have to prove anything to you, but while we're on the topic, yeah, I'm amazing. And there was a lot of violence. People were punching each other. Steven Universe got tased. There's something about this music that's just so seated in emotional complexity, but it's delivered in such a nuanced way. Rebecca Sugar, right? Master of your craft. I cannot say that enough. Master of your craft. You do so much with so such simple music, but it's it's not simple. It's, it, it's just there's so much working. There's so many little gears turning. This response to just existence through this music. You're tackling such strong and intense emotional complexity so well. Holy crap, I'm so happy that this is a popular show the kids are watching. Like, it's teaching them so many wonderful things. Also, adults could benefit from this a lot, too. Ooh, I really enjoyed that. I'm confused by a lot of things that I feel like watching the show would add to, but just the music itself, there's so much there. Do I like a little more electricity and charge my music? Yeah, really turned me around to just the weight of the lyrics and then the marriage of them to the music itself. Intricate and delicate. It's been such a beautiful tapestry of both acknowledgement, emotion, journey, growth. Like I wanted to just do the music. I've been thinking about doing a side series on some things. I don't know. I, I kind of want to watch the show. I really like the music a lot. The characters are engaging. Uh, apparently there's an aggressive amount of story going on. Like, wow, there's a lot going on there. I think it's very smart. I think it's tackling a lot of important things that aren't being touched on that much. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like the video if you did. Subscribe if you want more. Would you want to see me talk about trying Steven Universe? Let me know, guys. I just want to try something new this week. Thank you so much to everyone who's been watching liking, subscribing, you guys mean so much to me. I love doing this and I've been trying to find ways to expand into other forms of entertainment while still sticking to trying to stand. So I've been trying a bunch of new things. So I appreciate you guys bearing with me while I keep branching out. I will be doing more trying to stand goodness next week. I'm going to be ending this phase and going back into more part twos, follow-ups and sequels, next parts for artists. So stay tuned for that. Please, I run on suggestions and compliments. So let me know down there. You know the drill, like button, subscribe button, please, please. But thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Have yourselves a fantastic night. And please, someone explain to me what this show is about. If he's, if he's the child of a gemstone, what did the dad do to that diamond? Cutting. Is he part gemstone? How does that work? So, so many questions. That's still going. Yeah. Kill it, oh my God, make it stop before I talk about sex.